Stop buying rifles. I said it. I've been wanting to say it for a long time. Ever since Obama told you you couldn't have one, you've been running out to Walmart, dropping $850 on a Colt or a Bushmaster. Just stop it. The second you get your $850 mil-spec rifle home, what's the first thing you do? You take off the A-frame front sight, you take off the rear sight, you buy a set of flip sights for $195. Then, what's next? Oh, I think this rail sucks, so I'm gonna put a uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a Samson or I'm gonna put a Fortis or I'm gonna you know quad rail or key mod or whatever and, and then you go out and drop $250 on a new rail. Then the next thing, oh the stock's wobbly, I need a new stock, so I'm gonna put a Magpul on there, God forbid a UBR. You know, you're gonna spend $80 on a decent Magpul stock. After that, what's next? Muzzle brake. Let's take the A2 birdcage off the rifle that you bought and let's put on something like, I don't know, a VG6 or a Lantac. You know, you're gonna spend at least $100 on a muzzle brake. Then, what's next? Oh, I don't like my mag phosphate bolt carrier group anymore. I wanna be like the cool kids and get me a nickel boron. So I go and order a Spikes Nickel Boron Bolt Carrier Group. That's $250, but it's got a cool little Star Wars spider thing looking thing on it. And so now you're like a cool kid. Then what's next? Charging handle. The mil spec charging handle sucks. So you get a Fortis hammer or you know some, some other badass charging handle. That's 60 bucks. What's next? You, you, you take the dust cover off because you want it to say Molen Lake. So you spend $7 on a, on a dust cover. Then Mill spec trigger, six pound trigger, that sucks. So let's let's go drop a, a, a hyperfire or a Geisel or some sort of badass trigger that's gonna cost you $250. You know, after that, well look, I'm shooting during the winter and my gloves don't fit the hole, so I need an enhanced trigger guard. That's another ten dollars. You take the trigger guard off your rifle, you throw it in the drawer, you know. A new grip, new grips next. You don't like that mil spec grip that's on there, that A2 grip, so you want to get an Ergo or a Magpul MOE or you know a, a, a freaking Hogue, you know. So so you've put all these things on this rifle that you paid eight hundred and fifty dollars for, and if you add them all up, like right here, it comes out to be about two thousand seventy five dollars that you've invested in this rifle, and you've thrown away. 40, 50, 60% of the rifle? Why not just build a rifle? Start with a strip lower from the brand that you like or from the, with the cool little design on it or something, whatever you like, bill it, forge, do your homework, and then build the rifle you want. When you build that rifle, you're gonna end up investing 13 to 1500, that's it and you're gonna have everything you want from scratch. You're not gonna throw away 40, 50, 60% of the rifle when you make your upgrades over the next couple months. So quit buying rifles and build a motherfucker. I forgot something. You take it to the range after you've spent $2,075 on it and you put a thousand rounds down range. Then you take it home and try to clean it. And then you clean it again after the next range trip, and again after the next range trip. And then you learn that you don't have to clean your AR all the time if you convert it from direct impingement to piston. So then you order an Adams Arms piston kit. That's another $300. But you never have to clean your AR again. So why not build an AR? Instead of spending $2,375 on the gun of your dreams, spend $1,500 to $1,800 on the gun of your dreams and be able to tell everybody that I built that and you might want to remind Obama that you built that too.